Hi, I'm Chris Tanner. I'm a solutions engineer for Tom Sawyer Software. Now in our 25th year, Tom Sawyer Software has been dedicated to providing our customers with some of the most advanced graph layout, analysis, and visualization technologies for understanding your data. For this demonstration, we are going to use a data analysis technique called link analysis. Now, link analysis in its simplest form is the evaluation of relationships. There are a variety of applications for evaluating data relationships, ranging from market analysis, fraud detection, to public safety. With the continued exponential growth of data, the need for tools to assist in the evaluation process becomes more of a necessity. In the following example, we will take a look at how you can leverage Tom Sawyer perspectives to provide intelligence based on criminal activity and their perpetrators. As an example, let's say a law enforcement officer is interested in a particular type of crime, for example, burglary, and in more recent events. So first, let's filter down our timeline to only show recent events. Now in our filter tree, we can turn off all of the offense types and select the particular offense that we're interested in, burglary. Now this gives us a much smaller subset to focus on. Now I can lay this out and further investigate what I might be interested in. Let's take this group for example. By selecting these nodes, they are now selected in all my views. Through the power of perspectives, you have the ability to synchronize between your views. So let's see if there's any geographical patterns that we may be able to realize. So now you can see in our map that our events are selected. And interestingly enough, it seems that these events all occurred relatively closely to this particular street. Now that may be something that was not realized originally, but now you can focus on incoming traffic within that particular area. Now let's take another scenario. Our same law enforcement officer is now interested in identifying multiple offenders and the people that they work with. Using our circular layout, we can easily identify high volume clusters within the graph. So now you can see that we have some large groups here and we can pick one in particular to focus on. This one looks interesting. So let's zoom down there. It seems that all these crimes have to do with theft or car prowling. So let's go ahead and select these guys and take a look at see if there's any geographical patterns. So in this particular instance, it seems that they're pretty widespread over the area. So let's take a look at our social network to see how they may be involved with other criminals. So we can see our group of people selected here. Now, if we zoom out a little bit, we can run social network analysis. The following analysis we're going to run is called betweenness centrality. Now what this does is allows us to identify who are key players in between subnetworks. Now what that means in a criminal network is I can identify who may be an in-between person for uh, the transfer of stolen goods, uh, anything along those lines, whether it be a supplier of drugs, in between the connection in between subnetworks, that's what this is looking to identify. So now, I have a few areas of focus that I can use to 
allocate surveillance or anything else that helps me stop crime in that area. Thank you for watching. If you would like to try out this demo yourself, you can go to our website, tomsawyer.com, and under the solutions page, click link analysis and crime network.